Samuel Colt was at the forefront of the American Industrial Revolution. We often think of Henry Ford in the production of the Model T in the early 20th century, but almost 60 years prior, Samuel Colt and other firearms manufacturers were mass producing a, a product using interchangeable parts in a production line. With his patents and his funding, Colt introduces his invention straight into the teeth of the Panic of 1837, the worst financial crisis in America up to that time. It was a conundrum for Colt because his weapons are definitely needed, but people can't afford to buy them. The financial crisis drags on for five years, and in 1842, 28-year-old Samuel Colt is forced to shut down his factory. The patent arms production company is bankrupt. It seems Colt has finally run out of luck and gone bust for good. Then he hears a dramatic story about a famous Texas Ranger named Sam Walker and his survival in a shootout with a group of fighting Comanches. They were able to hold off 86 Comanches with a couple of Colt Patterson revolvers. Colt sees that this story is advertising gold and that it could revive his bankrupt gun company. Colt was able to take that incident and commercialize it. He was able to make great merchandising hay out of it. In 1846, Walker visits New York, and Colt asks him to write a testimonial about the gun that saved his life. What did you say this was about? In an early version of a celebrity endorsement, Colt wants his gun wrapped in Walker's rugged reputation. How could you possibly improve on such an effective sidearm? It could be better. Mm. Sam Walker had a couple of requirements he wanted to work on with Sam. I think I've got the solution. Well, new and improved is my motto. And they agreed to work together. The changes include a heavier handle, greater ease in reloading, larger caliber bullets, and six rounds in the cylinder instead of five. Together, they produce a gun called the Walker Colt, a pistol as effective as a rifle at 100 yards. Colt starts manufacturing them in 1847 but it's the war with Mexico that makes Colt a household name. U.S. soldiers fighting alongside Texas Rangers are impressed with the Walker Colt revolver. So General Zachary Taylor orders 1,000 of them for the Army. Six months later, Samuel Colt delivers 1,000 of his revolvers to the U.S. Army. Walker helps put Colt in business again, but this time it's to stay. Production ramps up quickly. In just three years, Colt's factory is producing 150 firearms per day. He keeps improving his models, and a steady stream of government contracts drives his business.